What's up everyone, this is Danny from Nexus 7 Soft Monitor back with another video how to. Today I'll be showing you how to monitor every aspect of your Nexus 7 tablet. We're going to be using an app called Usemon. So we're going to start by going to the Play Store, downloading and install it. You don't even have to be rooted for this to work, so it's great. I'm just going to launch it right now. It's going to take you into the CPU tab, and what it's going to do is give you four boxes, four graphs of the four CPUs in your tablet and just show you the CPU usage for each of them. Very high CPU usage is usually a sign of something that's wrong. That's something to look out for. If you look at CPU frequency, it just tells you of the four cores, where are they running at right now? Since the Nexus 4 is a quad core and it clocks in at 1.3 gigahertz, that's full speed, but usually it throttles itself downward to a slower speed, so you save battery and it doesn't have to run at 1.3 gigahertz if it's not doing anything. This is better in the long run. You can see a graph of it. If you look at CPU info, it just shows you basic information about your tablet. It's an ARM7, other bits of information like what the hardware is, revision number, serial number. No real time information is shown here. If you look at RAM, it just shows you how much RAM you have in your tablet. This tablet does have one gig of RAM and as you can see I'm using about half of the RAM right now. Now if I was using too much RAM, apps would start crashing and it's always something to look out for because there's not enough RAM to be used to all the apps. If you take a look at network or net, it just shows you every bit of traffic going in and out of your tablet. Now if I was downloading a file right now you would see a lot of traffic coming in but right now I'm not doing anything, I'm just letting it idle so you don't see any spikes right now. If you look at disk, it just shows you the disk utilization. Say I was transferring files, downloading files, moving files around or copying them. Now you would see a lot of disk activity. Right now I'm not doing anything of course so there's no activity to be seen. Here's some settings. Um, everything is just the default right now but if you didn't like the green color you could change it to blue or little bits like that. Now the really cool thing is that if you exit out of here and you pull down you actually get a little graph at the drop down from the notification bar. Now what this is going to do is just show you every, every bit of information that's important at a glance. So you can see I'm only using 8 to 10 percent of my CPU. RAM is only about 600 megs of 1 gig. And you can see I'm not really downloading much of anything right now. No internet traffic is coming in. And the little last bit is my disk utilization. And it's at zero right now, of course. That was how to monitor every aspect of your Nexus 7 tablet. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial on Nexus 7 Soft Monitor. Thanks and you have a good day.